come with me to Mexico City. I ended up staying in this Airbnb, so I'll give you a little apartment tour. This is an apartment in Chapultepec, really close to everything, so it was perfect for all the places that I was planning to go to. It was just a short Uber ride away from everything. First night, I ended up getting these tacos from Uber Eats. Was not a good idea because I don't like how fries or tacos taste cold. And they came cold. We should have just gotten something locally, but we were so tired from the ride. I ended up getting my nails done the next day at 8 a.m. with Latin Witch and I made a reel about it on my Instagram if you want to go check it out there. Later that day I went to Pizza Rama and it was such a beautiful view. I highly recommend going during lunch because it was empty even though I did make a reservation but it was beautiful nonetheless. I got a appetizer platter and pizza so today we're going for breakfast to Isabella cafe Isabella cafe was absolutely so pretty and aesthetic <laughs> mainly went for the photo opportunity and to get pictures in the pink scenery but i will say i was pleasantly surprised that the food was delicious the avocado toast that i got was so good i have to try to recreate this at home because it was amazing and i also tried the eggs benedict those were good too drink wise i got the hot chocolate with marshmallows i didn't even want to drink it because it was so pretty but it was also good and i tried i think i also tried the churro coffee which was so good i'm not even a coffee person but it was delicious i want to say that everything at this restaurant that i tasted was really good so i highly recommend and it's not expensive at all I did leave all the information to where you can find, locate, reservations, all that for everything in my stay. If you want to check that out, I put that in the description box below. We did have people staring at us the whole time we were there, so I was low-key embarrassed to take footage there, but I did yep. what I could. This is a video inside the Zara in Mexico City. Then at night, I completely loved going to Ling Wing. I highly recommend make a reservation ahead of time because they do book up very quickly and got a bunch of appetizers it was a sushi restaurant, so of course I had to get to sushi. I got my basic California roll, spicy tuna roll, and I wanted to try the scorpion roll. I don't think that what was on top of it, like the meat that was on top of it, was scorpion. I think that was Wagyu meat, if I'm guessing, because it didn't taste like scorpion. And obviously, like, how can they take the meat out of the scorpion? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I did taste the scorpion. It tasted like plastic. I just took a bite of it and um, yeah, no, that's not me. Then I ordered this drink. I'm not a drinker, but I saw this on Instagram and I really wanted to try it. It was the Chapulte Pinky, which was a beverage with cotton candy and it was strong. Let me tell you, strong, but it was delicious because it was sweet and I like sweet things. So. I would suggest trying it if you want something new to try. Last but not least, I got this chocolate dessert. 
dessert is my favorite, so I had to get something even though I was completely stuffed. I took some bites, it was delicious. I did love the presentation. I will give it to them, their presentation is A1. The next day we ended up going to the Palacio de Bellas Artes. So beautiful. I got a short clip of it. Then of course went shopping a little bit more in the street. Supported local vendors. Then later that day we ended up going to Chapultepec. Of course we had to go because we were staying literally five minutes from there. Went walking through the whole entire park. It's so beautiful. I would recommend going either early or in the evening because it does get hot. And then walking out, we saw these performers and I wanted to show you a little clip. much concludes the end of the trip i did ask my uber driver on the way home to stop by the angel that i always see in every telenovela so that was on my bucket list i had to see it of course was surrounded with all these barriers but i got a little glimpse of it so i can say that i've been there thank you for joining me on this trip i can't wait to take you next time because of course i'm going back and I'll see you guys all in my next video.